that where we take a look at an artist that I follow on my social media and uh, we take a little bit of a deep dive into who they are. Uh, today we have a very talented artist named uh, Christy, Chrissy Zulo and I follow her on Instagram and I've been following her for I, I think maybe six months about about that amount of time and since then she's she just keeps coming out with amazing work um, so yeah so her handle is just Chrissy Zulo and uh, let's go take a look at her store envy and uh, something really cool that she does is that she ha comes out with these uh, sketchbooks every now and then um, and she sells them for 25 and up depending on if she signed it or put a remark and um, so she has some pretty cool uh, pr pretty cool prints she did this uh, Mulan print and uh, that looks pretty cool and uh, yeah if you like her style definitely come back and uh, see if you want to purchase anything uh, let's go take a look at her deviant art page um, so semi recently she had the opportunity to uh, do some covers and uh, here was one she did for the boom box for the last witch and uh, one thing that is really cool is is that uh, you know within if, if you're big into comics you know that uh, um, that comics usually sometimes have variant co covers so she was lucky enough to do a variant cover for the last witch and then also for uh, Batman um, so that's pretty cool for this Batman series um, and then I think time to time she does um, special covers for various uh, stores if they have uh, reached out to her to do like a contract which is really neat and um, she also had a really cool opportunity to work with DC and create these uh, um, artist alley uh, statues and she is super stoked that she was able to make her art into something tangible, uh, like a statue. And uh, if you want one, you know, you can find them on the internet. Uh, they have been out for a while, so some of them you might have to find on the used market. Um, but I think they are super cool. And um, if you like one of those, definitely uh, look around and pick one up. Let's keep looking at what she's done on her demon art. Um, yeah, so she does commissions once in a while. Currently, her uh, so this is <laughs> oh, excuse me. So this is what she looks like. Um, you know, I'm just looking at her deviant art along with you guys for the first time. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, so as, as I said, she does commissions time to time. Currently, it's closed, but uh, if you keep watching her Instagram, she will let you know when it's open, and if you have something that you really want in her style done, definitely reach out to her, um, and uh, hopefully maybe one day when the... Um, when conventions start back up again, uh, you get an opportunity to meet her. Um, I definitely highly recommend that you uh, um, follow her on Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, she also has Twitter and Tumblr. And uh, yeah, uh, if there's anything, uh, you know, definitely uh, check her out and give her a give her a follow all right thank you very much for this episode of art bites definitely see you guys again next time